G'day guys, what's cracking? It's your boy Two Aussie here again. So have you heard the news from Hungry Jacks? The Baconator is back baby and I'm sitting here in the waiting bay waiting for it. This thing is chock-a-block full of bacon. So folks, I've decided instead of getting a small meal with my Baconator, here it comes now. Let's get it. Hi. That's it. Thank you very much. See ya. So as I was saying, instead of getting a small meal or a meal, I grabbed, a, went in on Jack's apps and got the $5 Whopper cheese with a small chips and a beverageino. So we've got our drinky poo. We've got the burgers. Only thing left to do is to find somewhere to tuck in. Let's go. Oh, that smells very salty. Must be the bacon and chips. You love to smell it. So, folks, let's go and find somewhere to park and tuck in. I can't wait to wrap my laughing gear around this one. And we're back, babies. Let's get this party started. Grab the old tree. i got to tell you guys, I am a little bit juiced for this one because we haven't done any burgers recently over the last week, especially maybe the last fortnight. It's all been chicken and Chinese and whatnot. So, let's check out what's in the bag. Oh. We got our. <laughs> I thought I had the fries. It wasn't chips. We got our small chips. Nothing like good old HJ's chips. Got to have a very long chip. The usual thing. I don't have to tell you how good they are. Now we got our whopper cheese with our. Five dollar value meal with the small, small chips and the drink and an escapee because it still make you wait. <laughs> Mamma mia! And the star of the show, the bacon eater. Apparently, this guy's got four pieces of bacon on it. I know people are going to say, ah, oh, but it's microwave bacon. Blah blah blah. Doesn't bother me. Tastes like bacon. That's all that matters. So, folks, let's unwrap it. Check it out and see what makes it tick. Let's have a quick squeeze. Actually, it doesn't look much <laughs> bigger. I guess it's probably a bit weightier. Yeah, you can feel the weight in that. It is bigger when you look at it properly. I was going to say it doesn't look much bigger than the junior there. Old junior. But let's see what's going on in here. Now, why I don't mind this sort of bacon, I know a lot of you guys cry about it and you're not happy, but I actually like it because there's less fat on it. So we got mayo, lettuce, Tomato. You know how much I love me tomato. Now, of course, that's a bit sad looking. That's the biggest problem for me. Where's the tomato? Although this guy will have some too. So apparently, let's check it out. Make him on there. Don't you fall off. Look at that. No, bloody hell. Look at that bun. What the hell is that, HJs? Anyway, let's just have a look if there's four slices. One, two, and there should be three. I was going to say there should be cheese, but there's three. We got the cheese. We got the beef patty under there. We got four. Oh, we got five. I thought there was supposed to be four. Oh, bloody hell. I think there's six. Look amazing. This is like bacon overload. Well, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That really is a baconator. I now I am super juiced. Who needs the tomato when you got all this bacon? I'm not happy about that split bun there. Not each one. I'll show you the good side. There it is, folks. Look at that. The more I touch it, the more it's splitting. That's a disaster, that bun. I reckon the struggle will be real to eat this one. It's looking very greasy. You can see the paper's all greasy. I guess you get that with six pieces of bacon, don't you? The struggle's actually going to be real because of this bun every time I touch it. By the time I get it in my gob, It'll be bloody split in half. Anyway, without further ado, a boo boo. I'll go from this side because it's very meaty on that side. It's sticking out. Let's tuck in. It's all falling off. Good to see some lettuce again too. Let's do it. Mm. So 
So on first bite, of course, super salty flavour. It's very salty, but I suppose you can expect that with six pieces of bacon. I'm going in again. It's actually delicious, so I am totally loving it so far. Now, when I said about four pieces of bacon, I think that was actually what the Baconator had on it last time. They're calling this the Baconator Deluxe, so I'm guessing that's why it's got the extra bacon on it, because it's a deluxe. And having said that, let me tell you this. Tell them the price, son. $9.95. And I guess that's why, because why it's a bit up there, because it's got all this bacon on it. And it does have, I'll try to be careful, two bits of cheese, two beef patties, and all the rest you know what just let me quickly have a look because we saw mayo on the top is there mayo on the bottom no so there's only one lot of mayo so we this bun is just ridiculous it's full, oh, that, that only fell off then that would have just broken off folks i gotta stop jabbering on and get this in me gob because the struggle really is a very real here at the moment super struggle Wow, look at that. They've really gone a bit overboard with the uh, mayo. It really is a husky hit. Maybe even a super husky hit. Super husky hit. Bloody hell. Let me know the last time you had a burger that did all this to you. But, even though it's fallen apart and it looks a bit tragic, it's actually pretty good with all this bacon and well worth the mess. It hits in a good way. Oh, hell, look at that. Man. So folks, if you decide to get this after seeing what I've gone through here, <laughs> it's an epic battle. Well, please know that you could be in for a very messy, very sloppy, but very succulent and juicy full-on bacon burger. I wouldn't say don't get it. I'd go through this again. It actually tastes pretty good. Once again... Every time I touch it, something else comes out. <laughs> More mayo. So for $9.95, what do I think? You know what? I wasn't expecting six pieces of bacon. Like I said, it might be the deluxe thing. That's why there's six. Let me know if you've had one or you get one, what they end up putting on yours. Count your bacon, guys. <laughs> Count your little piggies. See what they put on it. So, I reckon for value, I'm going to give it a four stars out of five. I don't reckon that's too bad, $9.95, considering what's on it. And for taste, it's just like, <laughs> it's amazing. And I, I, I'm so close to giving it a five, but you know what? I'm going to give it a four and three quarter stars out of five for taste. Quite enjoying that, and I am glad I got it today. And I better get the rest of me gob because it's just a great burger. Just give me a sec and I'll clean up. quickie anyway so today's beverageino is proudly brought to you by hj's hungry jacks we got the raspberry fanta now folks hot tip like i was saying earlier go into the jacks app deals if you want to grab this burger or something else there's actually a fried jacks version of this thing as well it's a um grab the axe grab the jacks deal 
app deal. You can get yourself five bucks, a Whopper Junior as well. This small drink and a small chips. And I reckon that's better than getting a meal with the burger because then you can get an extra little burger. And that's a Whopper Junior too, so it ain't bad. Nastravia. So all up with that deal, five bucks, nine ninety five for that, fourteen ninety five for the chips, the drink, the baconator, and a Whopper Junior cheese. Fantastic value. And in these troubled times, we need to find the best deals we can get. Totally on point. But that's the business end of things done. Let's get on to a couple of jokes. You'd love to hear it. I know you will. How do you know when you've passed an elephant? You can't close the lid on the toilet. What's a Shih Tzu? A zoo with no animals. Would you like another one? I'm sure you would. I got one more to go. Let's get it done. What do Kodak and condoms have in common? They both capture the moment. <laughs> that was a beauty, that one. So, folks, that's your Baconator. Pretty decent burger. Turned out totally eats well with those... You want it merch him. Turned out totally eats well with all that bacon. I thought it would be bacon overload and salt overload, but it was a total winner. So guys, I'm going to bounce this guy. I'm going to heat it up and eat it later. I'll be full enough with these chips and a drink and that bacon I did really did hit the spot today. Totally glad I tried it. Well, totally glad I retried it. I couldn't remember what it tastes like from last time. It was, a, it was a hot minute since we've had it. So, folks, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru, stay fresh.